I'm certainly not an expert in this. I mean, if you had a growth on your ball sack, then, you know, you're calling the wrong place. But for, for financial advice, then I, I can't really say. But if I, if I were in your situation, and then I'll ask Kayla as well because she's, she's kind of in the business. Um, if I was in your situation, I would always opt for taking the salary minus taxes and everything already. Just because I don't want to go through that headache of fucking yeah. itemizing everything yeah. and all that. It's just a pain oh, yeah. in the ass. Um, yeah. And Quietly though now. though you might save money if you take your gross salary and then just kind of screw the BIR over oh, by shall I <laughs> saying, okay, you know, I, I, I paid for that. I paid, you know, keeping all of your receipts and doing every yeah. little thing like that. Post but it's a lot taste. of paperwork. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah, and actually, um, this is my first job after graduating so okay then i would take i would then take the option of having your company um what do you call that give you your net salary yeah. and have them handle most of the tax stuff because you're still gonna have to file okay. anyway but at oh, least no, no, it's less no. of a headache actually if if i choose not to to pay tax and contributions they're just it's like i'm working for the company but it's like they're just no, no, you paying. still have to file for the country, right? You still have to file in April for yourself. You would still have to fill all of that shit out.